<laughs> yeah, that's right. This is the Fat Comic Book Guy, and I'm back. I'm back to show you some really cool Halloween stuff. You can also see me check out full comic book reviews over on my other channel, The Daddy Dan Blog. But... How about this? I picked up some American Vampire comics. An incredibly cool series of comics with some really cool looking art on it. I didn't manage to get the whole set, but I thought I'd run through and show you the covers real quick. I'm going to pick out one of these to review on my channel, The Lady Damn Blog. So, if you have any suggestions on which one, should I start with the earliest one I got? I think this is a number three, which is the, like... The, I couldn't find one and two, so I got number three and number eight, and a bunch of them from the 30, from the 30s. Apparently, this series ran for a long time. I don't know much about it. But let's take a look at the covers real quick. I really like this cover. Look at that beast on the front. This is the one I picked up myself. I'm going to review this comic book, but I want to find one and two so I could do like a trilogy. I never could find one and two. Apparently, the American Vampire series has got their little hero. He looks like he's one of them... Uh, he look like one of them Winchester boys all dressed up, right? Well, I love the covers on these comic books. So I don't know what they're like on the inside or if they're filled with commercials or anything like that. But I tell you what, they got some really good cover art. Check this out. We went back to the Beast Cave. That's right. It's another Beast Cave cover. I like the Beast Cave covers the best, don't you? Let's shoot up some vampires like Billy the Kid did in that really old movie that wasn't real good. Anybody ever seen these American Vampire comic book series? Let me know in the comments below what you thought, if you're even familiar with it, or anything about it, because I know absolutely nothing. Other than they rip off the titles of really cool TV shows like The Blacklist. Part one. Wait a minute. Did The Blacklist come from this? Is that part of it? Oh, my God. But at least I got The Blacklist part two, so I'll be able to continue the blacklist story if i had any idea what was going on in the comic book series that'd be cool apparently the blacklist american vampire stuff went on for a while with that really cool cover i love the way they they blend black and white with the redness of the vampire i hope the whole comic book series isn't in black and white that would really ruin it and once again the blacklist the blacklist american vampire part four i got i got a lot of blacklist comics don't i i like I like the art on these comics, especially. I hope they are as good inside as they are on the outside. Oh, my God. Blacklist Part 5 in this whole time. I thought the Beast was like a white family member, you know, like the Fiend from, w, from WWE. But no, apparently it's more like Rhea Ripley. I think, I, think the, I think the Beast may be a chick. Oh, well... Now I'm going to go throw up somewhere. Blog over, dudes.